Good morning, it's Jake Mace. I'm gonna make a video today covering everything I eat in a day. I've been vegan 18 years, and I'm here to tell you I may not be vegan forever. My interest nowadays is living 100% off the land. That's gonna include a thriving fruit tree orchard, nut orchard, and garden that feeds us almost 100%. But there's other food sources out there, and I've been having a different consciousness change in regards to what is alive and what is dead in the circle of life and all that jazz, and I'm gonna talk about that in an upcoming video. But today, I'm still vegan, 18 years vegan. This year so far, I've seen a lot of vegan people who have been vegan for four, five, six, seven years say they're not gonna be vegan anymore. And my only message to those people who have stopped being vegan after years of being vegan is thank you for being vegan that long. It's a very compassionate way to live. It's saving a lot of resources, especially if the reason why you're vegan is to not support the corporations who make money off animals by exploiting them for our diets. I went vegan when I was 19 years old. I'm 37 years old now, 18 years. My interest this year is probably gonna change to living off the land 100% and getting away from buying food. I would love to live off the land 100%. And I don't care who judges me for my dietary choices. I know most of you out there who follow me are not even vegan. I wanna show you guys every morsel of food I eat today. So this is gonna be a great video for those of you that are interested in what an 18 year vegan guy eats in the day. I'm gonna show you every food item I eat the whole entire day. It's like seven in the morning. I'm gonna cover it all the way until dark. When I first went vegan, I was 19 years old, about five foot 10 about 165 pounds, and now I'm six foot two, and I weighed in this morning at 200 pounds. I have a diet built for a vegan athlete, and let me show you guys what I eat. I'm building a yurt in the forest, and I gotta get started. I don't have time for a big lavish breakfast, so I'm popping down a banana and an Asian pear. I've loved these since I was a kid. Apple pears, Asian pears. That's what I'm eating as my pre-workout, and the workout today is building a yurt. Spirit Bear, heading toward Blackfish to kick some butt in a full day of like eight hours, nine hours of work today. Somehow I feel in the morning time, I like doing fruit and cereal usually, but I like all those microbes to be in my stomach ready to digest stuff. So I'll drink a bunch of water after breakfast while I'm working when I'm thirsty. The gnats and the mosquitoes are just ferocious out here. And one of our YouTubers in the comment uh, also emailed me and told me to use this concoction of essential oils. So this is technically what I'm eating in a day because it's going on my skin and the skin drinks and stuff. Babe, what's in here? Eucalyptus, orange, and spearmint. Eucalyptus oil, orange oil, spearmint oil. Lavender oil too? Oh, yeah. All diluted in water. Let's see if that works. Okay, I'm drinking water now. This is from the neighbor's well. The gnats are still all around me. The spray is not effective yet. Here, spray my hat. This side too. A lot more. We're in the rainforest. Rainforest levels of this stuff. Let's go. Okay, let's see if that works. Oil isn't cheap. Yeah, but I'm willing to spend a little bit to get these gnats off my head. <laughs> Making some good progress today on the platform. For the yurt, we're almost done with all the stilts. That's the hardest part because all these stilts had to be level and they're like three, uh, three and a half feet, almost four feet off the ground. So we can either corral a bunch of horses here now or we can put uh, plywood on top of these guys once we have the blocking wood, this wood in place and then put our yurt on top of there. So subscribe to my channel and Nicole's and my vlog channel if you wanna follow our journey beyond what I eat in a day video, but famished right now, really hungry, because I was so dumb and didn't eat a full breakfast. Normally I have a huge bowl of oatmeal with all the fixings in it, but today, you guys have seen so far what I'm eating, so that means I'm gonna be eating more late into the night. I like eating late. I know I'm weird like that. Let's do lunch. I'll show you guys what we're doing for lunch.
All right, Nicole just whipped up this incredible tea. She said it was turmeric, ginger with reishi mushroom and the cups that we got from the Phoenix market back in the day when we used to live in Arizona. Mm, solid, really good. I figured I'd do the last stage of the cooking process in the fire. Sounds good. Okay. Where does this bowl come from? It came from Thailand. Yeah, mango wood. Yeah. I love it so much. Yeah, it's a great bowl. As a guy, I always hate eating out of a little bowl, so like I love big bowls. Yeah. But I like little spoons. You're weird. Cast iron. It's the best, seriously. You and I are not anemic for sure. Yeah, I know. And it's just fun. Smells and looks delish. I'm gonna, see. Thank you. I'm gonna go enjoy her company, turn the camera off, and we'll go to the next meal. Okay, good day of work so far. We're gonna break for a second and head back down to get some water to mix some cement because we have no running water. We have to fill it up by bucket. Wow. You got some fig bars here. Mm hmm. You found these at the store. Mm hmm. Stone ground whole wheat fig bar, no high fructose corn syrup. Thank you, babe. Okay, filled up the buckets of water. If you guys wanna watch the whole project happen, subscribe to the channel and go to my other building a yurt videos, but I gotta hit up some uh, B12. I take various kinds of B12, sublingual, melting them, your tongue kind or a spray kind, but I always get the methyl cobalamin kind. Really important to take your B12. Um, I'm a pretty strong, capable guy. I've been vegan a long time, and I gotta tell you, I'm always really bad about forgetting my B12 and I really feel it in my nervous system in my heart when I don't take it so if you want a sharp mind if you want a good heart if you want a powerful nervous system do your meditation do your qigong do your yoga and take your B12 hey to all my fellows out there you guys have a girlfriend and has this ever happened to you where you want to share your food or your drink with your girlfriend because you love her and you love sharing a delectable little snack with your girlfriend but Sometimes you're like, hey honey, would you like to have some of this delicious ginger ale drink? Or would you like to have some, some chips and salsa? And they're like, no, I don't need to have any of that. Five minutes later, you have exactly the amount that you wanted to drink or eat, and they come over and they want to share half. And you're like, you could have told me before I would have gotten extra for you. 
Am I the only one this happens to? <laughs> I guarantee you in the comments, tons of guys have this exact issue. Would you like some delicious zero calorie stevia? Well, we can go back down to the cabin. I know, girls. <laughs> I love them so much. Love you. I also love snacky, snacky snacks after lunch. So got some fruit, some ginger ale, that little fig bar and uh, apple. Crazy busy day today. I'm ready for a huge dinner. My body is tired. Like eight hours of straight on hardcore labor. Got a lot of projects done. And then this one gets home and she's like, let's go for a run. <laughs> so we're gonna do a sunset run because you never say no to a beautiful girl. And she says, let's go work out together. Oh, just a quick run. So I need pre-workout and I don't drink that stuff anymore. That pre-workout stuff. So I'm doing another Asian pair because that's all I got. <laughs> so fruit sugars before or during a workout or a smoothie during a workout. I love that. Let's get run. Yeah. We're craving Asian. It's freezing out here. I just wanted to set up the next clip. Let's go make dinner. Tell me down in the comments if you're like me and you're one of those people who doesn't like to cook unless they can snack as they cook and I'm starving. I just hate cooking on an empty stomach. I usually have to have a YouTube show playing or some good music playing and have some snacks. So normally I have like crunchy snacks, but today I'm doing the watermelon because we've been living off grid here building our place and we've had limited supplies of fruit. As I've told you guys in one of my previous videos, we're in this little cabin now that our very gracious neighbors have let us stay in. We're covering the power bill, whatever we use in here and uh, for the next couple weeks, we're here in this little cabin until we get the yurt finished. The first month we were here, we would cook outside and then huddle in the van with the heat on and now we get to have this nice cute little cabin, so. I'm also snacking, in addition to watermelon, on some Greek Kalamata olives.
This is really good, babe. You like it? I do. Are you just saying that? No, I'm not just saying that. You actually are like a really good cook. You think so? My dad even called me the other day and my dad was like, I miss Jake's cooking. <laughs> He's like, I don't feel the same without Jake's cooking. Really? They say the key to your girlfriend's dad's heart is through food. <laughs> <laughs> well, he actually loves your cooking. When you first meet your girlfriend's dad and they bring the guns out and they try to intimidate you, just give them really amazing food and be like, just softens them up. Just cook for, <laughs> for him for a month and... <laughs> yeah. So Asian themed dinner with some sriracha on top and uh, cheers to, uh, to us mm -hmm. being homeless still, but not for long. <laughs> just a couple weeks more. Yeah. Just a glass of red wine. Mm -hmm. I think I have the vegan thing down. I mean, you've been vegan with me for two years. I've been vegan 18 years. I mean, we eat pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> I think we eat really good. We jam pack our diet and I thought you think that has a huge impact. We don't limit ourselves at all. I don't think so. There's so many vegan YouTubers or just health YouTubers, not even vegan, just health people that want to tell you or convince you to eat their way. And I just always, I always feel you should judge the person. Like, are they healthy? Do you think that they're reflecting an energy level and a body type that you want? And if they're not, <laughs> then don't listen to them. I know so many YouTubers who do these what I eat in a day videos, whether they're vegan or not. And you can tell it's not really what they eat in a day. Like yeah. they're either eating a lot less on camera because the camera's on them, but this is legit what we ate today. This whole video mm -hmm. is everything that I ate today. Yeah. Thanks for being my date. Thank you for cooking your food. You're welcome.